No, I'm not just trying to look like Casey Neistat here. This video is about this little P here, which means polarizing. So this video is about plain polarized light. Other channels cover the content, but Guerrilla Physics, I'm gonna help you get the A star. In this video, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to master the topic of polarization. <laughs> So this type of sunglasses, polarizing sunglasses, they have a vertical polarizing filter in them. That means it cuts out any horizontally polarized light. And that's especially useful when you're skiing or doing water sports or when you're driving and you get a lot of glare off maybe the cars in front or puddles in the road. Essentially, these cut out horizontally polarized light, which is glare from all those things I just said. Polarization has lots of uses though. So for example, this lens, this is a polarizing filter that goes on top of a camera lens, just like the one I've got on my camera here. And what that means is that I can control the amount of light that's transmitted through this polarizing filter just by rotating one of the two filters. So what there is there, so what there is here is actually two filters. And as I rotate one of them through 90 degrees, it actually cuts out all of the light. I know that's quite a difficult idea to get your head around, and that's probably because you're used to thinking of waves only having one kind of plane of oscillation. In fact, light electromagnetic radiation oscillates in all of the planes around the direction of travel of the wave. That's quite a hard idea to get your head around, I'm, I'm aware of that. We're used to seeing waves on slinkies modeled like this, with the wave just oscillating in one plane around the direction of travel, in this case vertically. Unpolarized light is simultaneously oscillating in all directions around the direction of energy transfer. So I've got a little model here to help you imagine what's going on. I've got four planes overlaid here, but you have to imagine the light oscillating in all planes around that axis. Plane polarized light is light which is oscillating in only one plane. So that's unpolarized light that is oscillating in all directions. Our polarizing filter is something just like this, which has bars in it which cuts out oscillations in all directions apart from the one that it allows through. So that's what we mean by plane polarized, means it's only oscillating in one plane. So this model polarizing filter allows vertically polarized light through, but it doesn't allow horizontally polarized light through. You see it cuts out the oscillations when it's horizontally polarized light. And that's exactly what's going on in the polarizing filters in the sunglasses. Transverse waves can be polarized. These blue cone things, they are emitters and receivers of three centimeter microwaves. The grid acts as a polarizing filter. When it's horizontal, it allows all of the microwaves to be transmitted. When it's vertical, the reading on the detector drops to zero. And when it's horizontal, back to maximum. And when there's nothing there, you see it's at maximum. So the filter will allow whatever direction, whatever plane it is orientated with, the wave to go through, but it will stop all the oscillations in any other plane. Make sense? Catherine's pretty interested, though. So if the filter's horizontal, it will allow horizontally polarized light to go through, but it will cut out vertically polarized light. In just the same way, if we have unpolarized light, like we do down here in the bottom left of this diagram, we can use one polarizing filter to turn that into polarized light. We'll cut out any other plane of oscillation apart from the one that is allowed through. And if we use a second filter and we can rotate that, then we can control the amount of light that gets through the system of filters. And that's really useful if you want to control the amount of light that's falling on a detector. We have unpolarized light being polarized by one filter, and then that plane polarized light is being then absorbed by another polarizing filter. So the polarizing filter is currently on the camera now and currently I've got them both orientated in the same direction. The front one is polarizing the light into this horizontal direction for example and the second one is just allowing that through. Now if I rotate the front one through 90 degrees you can hopefully see that all the light is cut out. If I rotate back through another 90 degrees more and more and more light is transmitted. And same again. So that's polarizing filters. 
you can try this out with this awesome O physics simulation. I'll put a link to this in the description. You've got your unpolarized light first of all, your first filter making it vertically plane polarized light and a second filter that you can rotate. And you can see that as you rotate, the actual magnitude of that wave decreases and it decreases, well, it decreases with the cosine of this angle. Awesome simulations, go check them out. So if any question with this, they're always looking for the idea that if you take two polar polaroids, two polarizing filters, and you rotate one of them through 90 degrees, then you get this reduction of light. Get that word 90 degrees in, get that idea of the orientation of the two, light transmission being a maximum when they're orientated in the same direction, and a minimum when one is at 90 degrees to the other. So now it's time to play, is it or is it not plain polarized? So if I take my polarizing sunglasses and I show you the world through those and I rotate those through 90 degrees, is the light source behind me plain polarized? No, it did not really reduce in brightness at all. So those LEDs that are in that light back here, they are not plain polarized. And the interesting thing about this one is that all the different colors have different polarizations. That's incidentally how 3D cinema works, is they have one polarizer for one eye and one polarizer for the other, and they display two images which overlap, one which is polarized in one direction, the other which is polarized in the other. So the left eye gets one image, the right eye gets another image, and the, your brain combines them into a 3D image. What about the computer screen? I hope that helps, that's polarization. It really helps to kind of see it. The only thing I guess I haven't talked about is polarization of horizontal surfaces. So if you can imagine a wave with all those different orientations hitting a flat surface, then, it, then it's only the horizontal orientation which is going to reflect off. All the other orientations are going to be absorbed as they hit that flat surface. So that is why you get this partial polarization of flat surfaces. And that's why these things are so good for skiing or for driving or for water sports or for looking cool is because it's cutting out the glare from those horizontal surfaces like wet roads, like flat ski slopes, or like water. It's written in the slinky. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell, and check out gorillaphysics.com for all my videos organized by topic. If you got that, if that explanation worked for you, just say yes sir in the comments.